Sounds of Freedom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Talk, Simple story. Talk about it. Told the story. Hundred million dollars. Crowdfunded Christian movie. Sound of Freedom hits hundred million dollars. Tops Mission Impossible. Man. Wednesday star calls That's Trump incredible. a new Moses yeah. on Fox. Amen. I'm assuming you guys saw it. Uh, I know you did. Can yeah. you tell us what your, I mean, Matt, you and I watch it together in Bahamas. Ricky, have you seen it already or not? Yes. Matt, your biggest takeaway yeah, when you we, watch a movie. We came back from Bahamas, and then uh, uh, on Tuesday in Oak Brook, we had a uh, uh, Super BOM, and then the, the next morning, on Wednesday morning, 11.30, on first show before I left on my flight, Oak Brook, my smart movie, showed up to the theater. We packed it. Um, I can't imagine being that father in that movie who felt so daggone helpless knowing that he didn't know who to call, who to talk to, and, and, and he, can, he can't track his kids. He, he's poor, he doesn't have the resources. His baby just got taken. He's a single father. I was resonating with that because I was a single father raising my kids. And I'm asking myself this question too as well. You know, we all laugh about that movie Taken. I mean, that's, people think yeah. it's an action movie. What's that movie really? It's a human trafficking movie. Yep. But we missed it because we got distracted with an action movie. And, and what does Leon Nielsen say in that movie? I have a set of special skills. I have a set of special skills. I'm going to find you, right? So I, I'm asking myself you. this question. Because you always, you know, you've always uh, coached us, PBD, to always prepare for no matter what. You know, uh, if a distraction is coming away, do you have an action plan for that? So I'm asking myself this question. Who do I call if my kids are Amber Alerted and kidnapped that has a special set of freaking skills to go after somebody like this? And, um, and we found him. And we had him on our, you know, we have a podcast, and we interviewed him Wednesday, and he was talking about a case study that right going right now in Dallas, right down the street from Frisco is Louisville. This 17-year-old, so it's a working case they're working on it right now. It's a 17-year-old. She's currently being trafficked since she was 13. She can't get out the life because the pimp said, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do this. They take a selfie in front of their mom's house. We know where your mom lives, and if you, if you don't do this, we're also going to take your 10-year-old sister, we're going to bring her into the life. We're going to flip her. So she does the job. She says, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. It's fine. If you don't want to do this anymore, you need to recruit your replacement. So in the movie, Sound of Freedom, the recruiters weren't the guys. It wasn't some weird dude in a mask, glasses, and a white van. It was a woman. It was a non-threatening person. So this 17-year-old girl recruits this 10-year-old and was horrified what happened. So she promises this girl candy and ice cream. But what she finds is a bunch of guys that kidnapped her, shot her full of fentanyl, and she had to hear this 10-year-old girl for the next two hours gang raped to continue the process of desensitizing her for what the rest of her life is gonna look like. So, Christian, Muslim, Mormon, as, no matter what, left, right, can we all agree that we never ever wanna have that happen to our kids? That's our enemy. That's our enemy. We're all distracted with all this bullshit, but the enemy is what? The drug trade is not even sex anymore to the gangbangers. I gotta go all the way to you know, get my cocaine, cross the border, gotta find a mule, blah, blah. That right now is not the opportunity if you're a gangster. Because it's expensive to get in a drug game. What, what do you buy a key for? 30K? You flip it for 60? Mm -hmm. Right? Or you just. Or, 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 How do you know these numbers, man? I'm, I'm Chicago. I watch. Ricky, validate those numbers. So, I don't so, know, bro. I don't. Well, so, national TV, bro. Like, what do you, yeah, like but, I can get a half off. Dry snitchy, dry snitchy. Yeah. But the, if you if you got to get a key, so you can you can be a you know corner boy, you can drug yeah. in your city. But it's also expensive. So, for example, if you have crime and you're doing drive-bys, people know they see a car, you yeah. have a description, they're gonna find you. You have drugs, people are on drugs. Obviously, you know. By the way, how many guys were raised around people that you saw in the neighborhood? People are on drugs, right? High, crazy, right? How they look. So you can tell there's drugs in the neighborhood. The thing with human trafficking, you can't tell. Yeah. It's a hidden crime. Yeah. And if you got caught with drugs, you got caught doing drive-bys, you're going to get arrested, you're going to be prosecuted, you're going to spend some time in jail. The problem with human trafficking is even if the person gets caught with the person that they're pimping out, because they have them in such a lock, they're going to deny that that's their pimp because if they, if they follow through with it, they know where mom lives. They know where the family lives. So they say, no, nah, this is my friend. And what happens is there's not enough laws. There's not a, the whole defund the police movement, guess what they've defunded? Human trafficking, they didn't learn forms. So we've had these nonprofit organizations to be the ones that are, that are taken guys, Navy SEALs, and if you're a Navy SEAL, uh, a former law enforcement special ops, there's organizations that are trying to recruit you right now to be that Liam Neeson character to go out and defend us because that is gonna be our next wave. Like we, we like low jack when kids, we are, our, our cars are getting ripped off right now. Imagine having to get a low jack for your kids. 
So that's the era that we're faced right now. And anybody that's against this, that's minimizing this, that's coming against this, thank you for exposing yourself. We now know who our yep. enemy is too. Yeah. So, by the way, number one, that's a man right there. That's a father right there. Shout out to Matt and Paula. I mean, emotional. So, seriously, Pat recommended we watch the movie, right? And I think you watched it in the Bahamas. I was on vacation. I don't know where I was. And then I get home, and I see you do a video with, like, 20, like, an army behind you. Yeah, yeah. It's over. And yep. you're encouraging everybody, yo, go watch this movie. I go watch the movie. And the day Thank before, you. on the podcast... We were discussing it, and there were headlines, Rolling Stone, certain magazines, articles, like disparaging the movie and basically marginalizing the whole concept of the movie. For sure. So I go into no, the movie unbelievable. already knowing, all right, what, they called it a QAnon conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, all right, let's look for these clues. So I sit through the two and a half hour movie, and I'm thinking, all right, like, when's the QAnon thing coming? When's the right-wing conspiracy thing coming? And it was just generally a movie about freaking child sex traffic. Period. End of story. And the fact that it's politicized. And there's people being like, no, it's kind of okay. is like so shocking to me. Well, it's like even if, it, even if the argument is that like, it, it, if they're saying like, oh, it's, they're making it out like this happens in larger numbers than yeah. it does. It's like, well, if it happens at all, right. isn't, that's, that worth, that's the like, isn't that worth making and a movie right. about? Like, yes. You guys make movies about things that are incredibly rare all the time. But Dave, it's not that if it happens that at all. Like, it actually is happening more and more right. and more and more. So it's not just a tiny little blip on the radar right there. No, it's I'm actually, just making the point that even if it was, totally. it would still be legitimate You're to like, raise right. awareness about it. It's a disgusting, heinous yeah. act, and people that are basically trying to minimize it and marginalize it, I don't understand why. Well, it clearly, I think obviously the reason why it plays into this kind of bigger uh, political, by the way, I have not seen the movie yet, so I can't uh, comment on it, although I'm, I'm definitely going to. Please. But clearly it's like, there's something to this idea of like, the evil of preying on children and the evil of like sexualizing children that is something that's on everybody's mind right now and then here's an example of like the most egregious form of that and then you see it's it's very bizarre to see these kind of like um progressive types try, who are kind of already have been caught kind of normalizing sec the sexualization yeah, of yeah. children um but look there is I, I was talking about this just the other day uh there was that quote um by um what's the uh What's the beautiful woman's uh, name? Levine, uh, Levin, the Rachel military. Levine. Ra uh, yes, the, yeah. the transgender. Let's the pull up a picture well, of she, her, Rob. she was making the argument, very, up, Rob. very blatantly. Beautiful woman beautiful, with a penis. Beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, yeah. She was making the argument that like kids can, uh, ki kids oh, can choose. This, this, uh, yeah, this, re this former rear admiral. <laughs> Gentlemen, try oh, to not get aroused. Yeah. This is your health. This is what Democrats voted for as your health expert. This is a Navy okay. admiral. So well, by as, Democrats, uh, health expert. Well, uh, overweight man that looks that thinks he's a uh, overweight man thinks he's a woman. That's well, but so, this is so, a Biden so anyway, for you. she was a point. So so clear. yeah. So this dude was talking about um, Dave. How Dave? How dare you? I'm sorry. Sorry. So so it, the, the, it was a comment about how um, that kids, uh, you know, um, that pubescent children should be allowed to make the decision to uh, get uh, hormone treatment and puberty blockers because they know what puberty they're supposed to go through and they know this. And look, it, it is obviously just the idea of giving kids puberty blockers or, or hormone uh, is, is like horrific, but there's something almost more fundamental uh, to the foundational claim there, which is essentially that children can consent. It's right here, bro. Because if you can consent to this, I mean, you, that, that is the most permanent, like, that is so much oh, greater of a decision man. than having sex or having a tattoo or getting drunk. Well, You're talking about a permanent, lifelong decision. Well, you have to be 16 to have a driver's license. No, you need on. to be but 18 what, to serve in the army or, or vote. You need to be 21 to drink, but you can be 10 years old and cut your dick off. That's, right. that, that that, that's not even the worst part about it. There's already a state that passed that if parents don't affirm this bullshit when their kids are minors, they could they could take your kids from you. Yeah, I, know, I don't know. I, I saw it when California. that was proposed. Well, like so, by the way, yeah. California, they just luckily they just vetoed it, but uh, yeah. because of one party that that uh, uh, has all the power in California, they just votes that uh, that uh, 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 being a pedophile or or sell, uh, having sex with a minor or or sex trafficking for minors is not of uh, considered a bad crime. 
They literally just voted for that, and they got so much backlash Insanity. that they had to switch it over. But it just happened. SB something in California. They literally just passed that. So I'm saying, like, there is something to fight off. Yeah. And there yeah, is you know, an 100%. Group to fight. I just, I hope people realize, you know, Tucker Carlson gave up, you know, he gave that speech. It was the, the last speech right before he got fired from Fox and started the Twitter show. And he had a point in there that I thought was really, really profound, where he was just saying that, like, th this isn't really a political battle. Like, this is a theological battle when you get into terms like that. Like, the idea that, like, Pray, pray, you shouldn't prey on children is not a right wing view. It's not a left wing no, view. No. Exactly. The, you know what I mean? It's like, just this a is, sane, normal no, person's this is, view. This yeah. is a good versus evil yes. view. Like, and there's really no other way to Spiritual conceive battle, of it man. other than that. Ephesians um, 6 11. That's it. It's right there. So then, if it's not political, then why is it political? Well, the political process is being used. But I'm, the point I'm making when I say it's not political is that it's not as if, like, if you get into a. If the. The idea is if, if you propose that um, taxing wealthy people and redistributing that money makes for a more just society, and then I want to argue, well, no, actually, in fact, lowering taxes allows those wealthy people to invest in companies, creating more jobs and expanding the economy. We're having a political debate. If you say, I think we should be preying on your children and propagandizing them. I'm not having a political debate so with you anymore. So why is it politicized? This, you're getting an ass because woman. they're using the power getting, of yeah, government. That's what I'm saying. Yes, yeah. I mean, there's just there's no more like it, it's just the, the realm is now in like a it's a theological debate. You're talking about child sacrifice now. This is not like it, it's just it's a I different uh, type of debate. It's political because obviously laws and politicians are involved in it. I'm just saying that it's like, you almost have to conceive of it in a different way. This isn't left wing versus right wing, like we have these different political ideologies that are I competing disagree. with each other. It's a moral I issue. Disagree. What do you I disagree. I disagree. I disagree that it's not political and that it's not left versus right, 100% it is. And it just is, I don't, I don't care what anybody says, it's the truth, because there's only one party pushing it, that you can mutilate your children, that you're gonna get arrested if you don't affirm their, their gender, their, that, that all this, the SB bullshit, there's only one party pushing it. It is 100% political, and it's easy identified on who's pushing it. It's that simple. You're not so wrong, it is Ricky, you're not I'm wrong. Not, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, it is I'm not arguing that there's one political party who's more guilty of it. What I'm arguing is like, when you say the term left wing, like, historically what left wing versus right wing has meant is that left-wingers uh, believed in egalitarianism and right-wingers believed in um, traditional hierarchies. This doesn't fall into that. Like, this is a completely different thing. That's what makes it this more sick. This is a sick, different beast. Dave, that's what makes it more sick. Yeah, no, I'm, I don't actually think that, we're that's, disagreeing. That's, that's, that's even, no, 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 I know we're not disagreeing. That, that's what I'm saying. Well, your tone seems to no, indicate no, no, we are. <laughs> no, if anybody, if anybody, but, 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 but let me tell you why. But let me tell you why. The, the fact, the fact that it shouldn't be politicized. Yo, Dave, you're my best friend, bro. Everything you're saying. Uh, yo, I love you, bro. dude. Let's go get beers. All right. No, let, let's I love see. you, dog. Here's a Bud Light. I love you. I just, I just, the fact, the fact, the fact that, that the fact that it's like it shouldn't be political, but it is political. For example, where's uh, Natalia? Natalia uh, is sitting right here. Her, her mom posts, go watch Sounds of Freedom. And some goddamn idiot that looks educated, you can look at your mom's Facebook thread, I don't know if you saw it already. I'm going back and forth with this guy. He's like, oh, it's some QAnon conspir right wing conspiracy. Bro, fuck you, bro. Like, what are you talking I, about? I, I agree. Like, what are you talking about? And I guarantee you, if I look at his voting card, it's gonna have a big ass D on it. I, and agree. I guarantee you. And not and can, can I ask you guys? Yeah, pro, yeah, yeah, pro, can, I, can, I, can I ask you guys? Because I haven't seen, I have not seen the movie, so I'm just de genuinely curious. Is there anything in it about how like there is something like going on with the political class Zero. being involved Zero. with this? There's no, so there's just this is Zero. there's no like conspiracy. No, no. Zero about it's politics. just the story yeah. of. Brother, yes. it's a hundred percent. There's zero politics, and let me tell you why. Zero. Get, let me tell you why I get more upset about it. Okay. Here's what, all of our cultures have something going on. Obviously, yours went through a whole like the Holocaust. Everybody's here. Here's the reality behind things right now. Okay, right now, 30% of women. Thirty percent of my people coming up the border are being raped and human trafficked coming from the border of Guatemala to Mexico to the border. I've sat down in front of a graffiti. I recruited this girl. She, when she was 15, she was gang raped by 12 men. And the only reason that she was saved was because the lady that was cooking for the men bought her from there to save them. I've seen this shit. It's not right wing or left wing. And there's only one goddamn party trying to make this okay. And it's not okay. And it's not, no, you can't mutilate your goddamn kids. No, you should not lower the law to make it less worse for these idiots to go to jail. 
Yeah. It's defined who's supporting this my, bullshit. My brother, I, it, I, I just listen, can't. You're not, right, it's you're my right. people listen, that are doing it. I understand. It. You're right to be outraged. It's appalling what's happening to, to girls and boys on, on uh, coming up. Uh, but it happens America. in my country, brother. So I take yes, it, and no, I, I, I live in my country. I'm and just I've been telling there, I've you, seen it if you're time. pushing the open borders policies or the de facto open borders policies that you're talking about of the Biden administration, they were absolutely pushed by the entire Republican administration, the entire Republican establishment as well. Jeb Bush was out there on the debate stage saying it's an act of love. We have to let them all in here. It wasn't until Donald Trump that Republicans were even raising this issue. I'm not so even I'm just saying, saying it's just not. I'm not even, there, there's a lot of guilt I in the Republican I'm Party. Not well. that. I, I get it because obviously f the only reason illegal uh, uh, immigration works is because it's illegal because you can exploit I get that yeah. both sides profit from that but there's when we have the state remain in Mexico what again I understand what you're saying and I totally get I don't disagree with you everything you're saying are facts but we're living in right now Agreed. and right now when you have open borders and it incentivizes people to traffic other people, it's minor majority of the people that are being affected by it are my people right now. Not 400 years ago, not your goddamn ancestors, right now. Yeah, I agree. In, in many ways. Right now, under this administration, for, pe for people that voted on this president, and it's happening on a local level, on a state level, on a community level, right now. Yeah, in, in That's my issue. In many ways, we have the worst of all worlds. Because it's it's like these de facto open borders where, to your point, it is still technically illegal. So you're still technically in this black market where you're not protected by anything. So it's not just pure because legal you're open borders. Because would, you're exploited. Uh, pure open borders would be legal for everyone to come in, and that would carry with it a lot of I, its I own got problems. One so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.